Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about self-awareness and uh, maybe even consciousness. These are of course a uh, very difficult concept and they, there are different definitions that you can find in the literature and I'm sure some of them make a lot of sense. But the question I'd like to ask, um, what would these terms mean in context of the neural network theory? Um, maybe, maybe the neural network theory can teach us something new about what the self-awareness and consciousness um, are. Now, if the world is indeed a neural network, then um, everything is made out of the so-called fundamental neurons and every subsystem uh, would be learning, would be learning uh, its own environment. Or, or its boundary conditions. Now consider um, a small subsystem or a system which may have already uh, modeled and learned the environment pretty well. So it has already a pretty good model of the environment, but that model doesn't yet include the model of self, the model of the system itself. Now, um, then we would say that the system is not self-aware or it didn't yet discover the advantages of uh, the self-modeling algorithm. It hadn't learned it yet. Now, um, such a system in, in this approach can be said to have a degree of uh, self-awareness zero. Now, perhaps, although we don't know for sure, molecules are systems like that. And we may say that a molecule has a degree of self-awareness zero. Now let's say let's take a, a more complicated system, perhaps more advanced, maybe with a higher learning efficiency, uh, that had already discovered the advantages of the self-modeling of usefulness of the self-modeling uh, algorithm. But it it is still made out of um, subsystems that have zero degree of self-awareness. Now, if that's the case, we may call such a learning system as having degree of self-awareness one. Now, it's again a, a complete speculation, but perhaps biological cells may be like that. So if a cell has a, um, a very, maybe very primitive model of self, if it does, uh, but it is made out of molecules that do not have such models of themselves, then we would say that the uh, degree of self-awareness of the, of the cell is one. And we can, of course, keep going. Uh, we can ask, what about self-awareness of degree two? Now, if the such a system is made out of the subsystems, which with the self-awareness degree one or less or zero, then we can call it uh, a system which has a degree two. And in general, we can take any learning system uh, and say that it would have a degree D if it made out of subsystem with degree of at most D minus one. But at the same time, we can only call it to have a, a, a degree D if it had already made the phase transition, if it is already has a, a model of itself. Uh, for example, Consider a system with um, two subsystems of, let's say, degree of D minus one. Um, and they're collaborating with each other. In a sense, they may be using each other's resources. They are uh, transmitting information, useful information to, to each other. But they're not yet modeling uh, their combined system as a whole. So perhaps social systems are like that, right? So they're made out of subsystem representing humans. Humans maybe do have their own models, but there is no useful model of the social system as a whole. So the social system isn't modeling itself, but the humans do. Of course, this is just a speculation. Um, now, at, at this point, we haven't had this phase transition and uh, the social system has to be considered as having no self-awareness, so degree of self-awareness awareness is zero. Now, once the phase transition takes place and it learns the 
the advantages of um, uh, modeling itself, and if that happens, then yes, uh, it can get um, the, the non-zero degree of self-awareness. Now, uh, recall that in the context of the neural network theory, we usually defined consciousness as the efficiency of learning. Now, here we have a, a, a more discrete concept, uh, a degree of self-awareness, right? It goes from zero, one, two, three, four, and so forth. So it's maybe uh, uh, too crude of a number to actually, um, uh, too crude of an estimation for what the actual um, efficiency of learning is, but nevertheless, it may enable us to easier develop um, a device, a consciousness meter that we would be able to use to measure consciousness over certain subsystem. Um, now, um, and again, we're just throwing around ideas. Um, I don't know where it will take us, but let's take one more, um, one more idea, one more limit and see whether this can teach us something new. So let's consider a limit when the degree of self-awareness is, is very large, perhaps, perhaps even infinite. Um, well, infinite may be a stretch because if every subsystem is made out of the finite number of fundamental neurons, it is hard to imagine how it can have inside of it uh, an infinite tower of those degrees of self-awareness. Nevertheless, uh, maybe not infinite, but finite. So let's say we have a system that has a finite but very large number of uh, degrees of self-awareness. Now, what does it mean? What would it look like? What kind of um, phenomena are we should be expecting to get from such a system? Now, and can this number D actually be measured, right? So without, without actually going down in this hierarchy, can we actually measure the, the degree of self-awareness, um, even if uh, approximately? So, so, so far, I've only mentioned kind of uh, very few degrees. Uh, the zero for the molecules, one maybe for cells, perhaps two for humans, and that's about it. But maybe there is, uh, there is more to this hierarchy. Maybe there is actually uh, a lot more layers in between that we can identify and then put a number and say, okay, here's the subsystem which has um, some, other number, some other degree of uh, self-awareness. Uh, and if, if that number exists and if, it, if, if we can measure it, like I said, with the consciousness, something like a consciousness meter, maybe we can better understand what consciousness really is and, and how, how big this degree of self-awareness should be in order for us to say, yes, this subsystem has a high level of consciousness. Now, we can also take it in the other direction and see, all right, let's, took the, let's uh, take a look at the entire universe. Um, and so what are the degrees of consciousness there? Are we really the most conscious uh, subsystem on, in the universe? Or maybe there is more to it. There is, um, you know, universal consciousness uh, that has a, a much, much higher degree, maybe even infinite, like we discussed, or, or even a finite, uh, perhaps uh, larger than two, some, some, some number that we can uh, think about and um, estimate. So there are many questions. I certainly don't have answer to all of them, but I'd like just to throw some of the ideas here and see uh, what you guys think about this. Uh, and um, I'll try to do the same every week, and then maybe we can uh, once in a while go back to the old questions and see if we can um, if we have made further progress by by discussing it, right? Um, that, that, that is it. That was uh, all I had to say and um, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.